let's look at the bad guy. This is Megatron, originally released in 1984. I can't get him in full frame here. Megatron was based on a Walther P38, um, and, and mine is a reissue because uh, picking up an unbroken original G1 Megatron is financially stupid, even by my standards. Having the reissue, this particular reissue I love because not only do you get some extra added features like the mace that he used in the fight with uh, Optimus Prime at the end of episode one and some pellets in there. Can you see them in there? Because this guy does actually fire. Um, but he also, you also get a, a chrome sword and gun that I think were released with um, the Microman version, the original version of this toy. All right, and just to get a better look at everything, I am gonna break this down a little bit. All right, so there he is in his base gun mode. Pellets go in there. He has got a lot of die cast on him. He is very heavy, and as you can see, very realistic looking. So obviously this is not a, uh, a kid-friendly toy. So he typically stays in robot mode on my shelf, and now let's take a look at that. It's crazy that they got such a realistic gun to turn into a, a robot. I'm still scared by this uh, because there's all these little points that you feel like are gonna break, but also just so impressed with the engineering. I think, what does this go down like that? So here he is in full robot mode. He looks a little silly and nothing like the cartoon character, but also, very menacing and again even though there's a lot of metal on him you can obviously see why a lot of the the vintage megatrons uh were prone to breaking and lastly the uh, the stock and barrel turn into a sort of stationary cannon despite it being a little strange i do much prefer the robot mode and keep him displayed like this also because i always keep a gun version of him uh displayed here and that is G1 Megatron.